Hi everyone, welcome back to another gameplay of PTD6. Let's continue with the updated series for Hafkish and Impopable. So I'm gonna show you right now uh, Frozen Over, Impopable, as always with Quincy as hero and without using monkey knowledge, continues and powers. Um, yeah. So on Impopable, uh, you can place Quincy right away. And so I'm gonna drop in in the same spot that I use for Hafkish. So closest to the right and then closest to the bottom, right? In strong and uh, uh, that should be enough. This spot allows you to attack the balloons uh, here in this left side as they turn uh, to follow them in the central portion of the path. And then in case some balloons can sneak past, you can attack them again right before they transition into the right side of the map and then they leak. Um, and uh, yeah, so that position is very, very nice. So I'm gonna focus like my main towers are all gonna placed around this area. So again, so that they can attack the left and the center. Uh, and right here, I'm gonna drop a boomerang. So boomerang the closest to the, to Quincy and closest to the right, right? So that's your goal. Um, and yeah, now with this uh, boomerang, Quincy uh, should be able to uh, destroy all the balloons until round uh, 15. So you're not gonna need to use any abilities, you're not gonna need to get any other upgrades. And also these kind of positions with the boomerang are very strong because you can see that there is a left turn right when I placed the boomerang and therefore because the boomerangs do not follow like a straight eye pattern but they rotate see that they rotate in the uh, towards the left in this case uh, as the boomerang is attacking the balloon right here the boom is gonna actually turn and it's gonna pop the balloons behind so uh, that's why it's very very nice see so whenever like you can drop boomerangs so that you can exploit that extra like turning in the movement of the boomerang uh, and yeah so now I'm gonna drop very very simply a farm right here so like try to place it closest to the bottom left so just try to find here the perfect spot and when you found it just drop it and as always round 15 uh, you're gonna use Quincy level 3 when the um, pinks come out so when Quincy starts attacking the pinks that's when you want to use it uh, and then you're gonna get the boomerang 100 as well uh, and yeah that should be enough for round 15 then in round 16 you're gonna get the boomerang 200 as well whenever you have enough cash uh, that should be enough uh, 210 boomerang for round 17 and 18 and uh, next is uh, getting the uh, farm 100. Oops, I got it uh, at the beginning of the other round, so I'm gonna just uh, uh, reset here. All right, here we go. So you always need to get the upgrade before the round starts, otherwise you lose uh, the, uh, the amount of cash. Right, um, boomerang two to zero, and then that should be enough for you to be able to get the farm two zero zero without risking, you know, losing around twenty one, especially. Then for round twenty two, you're gonna use Quincy level uh, three, and uh, yeah, that should be the the early rounds. Next, you're gonna just get the uh, farm two to zero. Quincy has camo detection, so you shouldn't uh, worry about that. And, uh, and then for round 28, um, you're gonna just get a sniper. So I'm gonna drop him right here. Uh, actually, let me just think. It might be better to just uh, get it here then. Um, the important thing is like not having this sniper too close to like Quincy or the boomerang because uh, as you're gonna get the alchemist later on, you don't wanna um, like 
have the alchemist to buff the sniper, right? So you don't want to waste any buffs on the sniper. So just place him so that uh, he may be in range of the villages, so he can exploit the extra like attack speed, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, don't place him too close to the alchemist. And now that I have light popping power, I can pop all balloon types. And so I'm gonna very, very simply get this uh, bank next. And now you have uh, the sniper, there is a tower that has unlimited range. And therefore, uh, in case some balloons may be able to sneak past, you can always change the targeting of the sniper to first, and you can just destroy the balloons before they leak. Just make sure that you get the bank at the end of round 32. Don't get it mid round because you're gonna end up like losing about like 75 cash. So just get it uh, at the end of the round. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, as you get the as you get the bank, then you can start going a little faster. Next is uh, very simply getting the boomerang 230, preparing for round uh, 40. Uh, and yeah, there should be also some extra attack speed that you can that you're gonna need to destroy uh, Like the increased amount of balloons that are gonna be coming in the next rounds Just remember that as you get the boomerang 230 you're gonna switch Quincy from strong to first That's uh, something that's important to remember uh, And then right here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drop this village just to save the spot so uh, I'm gonna just place it just to save the spot here. So village closest to the top and to the left, all right? Um, and then uh, you wanna place alchemist, an alchemist here closest as possible, as much as possible to the top right. So that's why it's important to like place the village first to save the spot and then to place the alchemist. Um, so yeah, that should be, that should be, that should be it. Alchemist 300 strong should give the brew to the boomerang, not to Quincy. And uh, once again, here I'm gonna manually level up Quincy to level 8, 500 cash, so that he can do more damage to map class plus. Use his level 3 for the mob, and yeah, that should be it. It's very, very easy. It's even easier than half cash this round uh, right here. And. Um, and next is uh, collecting the bank at the end of round 42. So you wanna just uh, uh, make sure that uh, you stop at the end of round 42. And also another thing, remember to use Quincy level three for the camo rainbows at the end. So just use it when Quincy starts attacking the, like the, when the third uh, camo rainbow gets in range. And uh, yeah, that should actually be enough to pop everything. Now, depending exactly on RNG, you may have some camo balloons sneaking past, um, and so just be just re retry the round and just try to use Quincy level three a little differently, and yeah, at the end of the day, eventually it should work. So I'm gonna collect here the uh, the bank. I'm gonna place another village. Um, right here, right. So closest to the top and to the left, so as close as possible to the other village. And uh, there should be enough room here for another farm. So I try to place it closest like to the top and to the left. Um, and yeah, that should be that should be good. You should be able to get this uh, second bank uh, 230 right away. Uh, and uh, and now that you have this other village with discount, now is when you can get this first village uh, 200, so you have more attack speed um, to all these towers. So you can see that also the sniper is uh, uh, getting more attack speed. Alchemist uh, 400, giving the brew also now to Quincy, a stronger brew. And um, then I'm gonna just get this village with some extra range, like 102, just like that, so that I can reach a little further. 
um, and I think very very simply what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna get this village um, because I might need it anyway for round 51 I may need the camo detention so I'm gonna get this village 2 to 0 right away so now also this boomerang has camo detention the alchemist the sniper so uh, camo balloons shouldn't be a problem anymore And now I'm gonna um, uh, try to save up as much cash as possible so that when I collect these banks I can drop uh, some more um, and, uh, and yeah so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna also get very early a monkey town and monkey city village so I should be able to collect at the end of round 52 or 53 if I remember correctly uh, now this is round 50 so it should be at the end of round uh, um, 52. So just make sure that uh, you don't have auto start so you can like collect and you can drop everything without uh, having the next balloon starting to come out right away. I'm gonna actually use Queen Silver 3 here for these double stack mobs. So let's collect. Um, and uh, actually, here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Monkey Town, uh, Monkey City, so that I have even more range. And I can drop here another bank, like as far away as possible from the village. This should be a good spot. And let's see if I can drop another one. All right, here we go. And uh, yeah, so let's just uh, get this bank, uh, this bank's two three zero. So let's start going faster again through the rounds. And now that I have more range and uh, more, uh, and especially more income, I should be able to, uh, actually here I may need to use Queen Silver 3, but actually I'm gonna drop a Super Monkey. Should be in range of both villages, as you can see from the icons. Uh, and yeah, this Super Monkey is gonna help me to have some more popping power uh, in case I might need it in these uh, rounds. I'm gonna just get the Alchemist 401. Uh, and yeah, you can see that now has the buff, so that's uh, the best. I'm gonna also get Turbo Charge, so have another activity ability. It's gonna be quite important for on 63. Uh, and actually, let's also get Primary Training here. All right, here we go. So I should be able to collect the banks. Um, around uh, 63 or 62 I don't remember exactly when the banks are gonna get full because now I have monkey seed village so these banks get uh, like 10% more income so uh, it's better to collect when they have like 6.5 thousand uh, rather than when they're completely full at 7,000 Uh, actually, in the round 61, I should be able to collect because I have already here 4.6 thousand, so uh, shit, should work. Do I need any activity the ability here? Uh, let's see the sniper. Actually, some piercing here from the super monkey. Very, very nice. But yeah, definitely I should have used like probably turbo charge in round 60 against the uh, the BFP. So let's collect, uh, yeah, 6.5 thousand, as you can see. And now, let's see. So I should be able to place another bank right here. So I'm going to try to place it like closest to the top. Uh, yeah, right here. 
All right, and then as I get here a um, an ice tower, all right, I should be able to freeze the water, right? And I should be able to place some more banks on top of the water. So let's see. Uh, let's see if it works. So yeah, that's one. See if I can fit another one. Yes, nice. All right, so that's two banks more in range of this uh, Monkey City Village. Um, on top of the water by freezing the water with a uh, with a nice tower. And actually, with the remaining cash, I have already seven banks, so I'm gonna just get uh, yeah one more anywhere. Here we go. All right. So that's all the banks I'm gonna use for this uh, gameplay. Eight, I think it's more than enough in terms of uh, like a number. So I'm gonna just get here a uh, knockback, all right? Zero one, zero zero one, super monkey. And then for round 63, I'm gonna use turbo charge for the first ceramic rush. And that should be it. Then for the second one, I'm going to use Queen C level 3. And also I'm going to get this Super Monkey 101 as soon as I have enough cash. And then for the third one, I'm going to use Queen C level 10. Alright, and that's it. So that's how uh, I face round 63. So using three different uh, abilities for the three ceramic rushes. And uh, also using Turbo Charge for these 45 mobs. Always uh, very, very annoying. All right, and yeah, as you can see, everything other than this uh, bank right here is in range of this Monkey City Village. So that's why I like a lot this uh, this positioning. And now I'm gonna just get this Super Monkey 202 and then 203, uh, and then uh, um, And then I think I'm gonna get like Perma Charge first, then I'm gonna get Perma Brew, and then I'm gonna get Dark Champion. I don't really need to wait uh, a long time for the balloons to like reach my towers because like there are like two turns and then they are already attacked. So uh, I don't think uh, I'm gonna like teleport the Super Monkey like right there at the front trying to destroy the balloons a little sooner. I might do it for the very last rounds, but not right now. So at this stage, like if you wanna sell the sniper, you can do it. Remember not to sell the ice tower because otherwise these two banks are gonna like disappear. And now it's all about like collecting the banks when they are gonna be at like 6.5 thousand cash. And, uh, and yeah, and then getting the upgrades I need to get. So very straightforward. Uh, you can see very minimal RNG. Or almost no RNG at all, um, and uh, yeah, pretty reliable strategy. You can see that uh, if you've been following my videos, uh, you can see that always I use the same strategy for uh, like improbable. Uh, so I get like perma charge, uh, I get the perma view, I get dark champion. Those three main towers. And most likely, once again, I may get a uh, primary expertise village, so the ballista attack from the village as well. And then, um, I don't know, maybe something else. So yeah, I can't teleport this super monkey yet, like uh, in any other spot other than like right here. But I want to keep it in the range of this village so that I'm earning uh, uh, more uh, cash from all the pops. And another thing that later on I'm gonna get is gonna be like a mortar anywhere. And I'm gonna break the ice when the cape monkey is trapped and I'm gonna free him so that I can also use the cape monkey. Uh, I don't remember if it can be moved by, um, by a heli, but I'm gonna try to move it with a chin hook. 
uh, place him like in a, in a better spot. Um, and, and yeah, so that's a, a very unique feature that you have only on this map. You can use a motor to like break the ice uh, and to free this uh, this character. That's very very similar to Pat uh, because it has very very small range. It's gonna stun the balloons that he can attack. Um, and, um, and I think it also stuns like map class balloons. And if you, it can be buffed like by alchemists. It can be buffed by villages. So. It's like another tower, but I don't remember if they have changed uh, all that. So I'm gonna actually test it out. Uh, after I get like Permabrew, I think I'm gonna... Um, I'm gonna place the, the motor. So just taking a look here at the at the cache here. As you get the Perma uh, charge, you don't need any more like to use any abilities. Even for like the ceramic rushes, round 76, round 78. Uh, they all become very easy. Alright, so as always here that I can collect uh, for round 80, the banks. I'm gonna just wait for the banks to give me like all the cash and then I'm gonna collect. Because there is only one balloon in round 80, like you receive all the cash right away. See? So, let's collect right now. Uh, Permabrew, alright. So that should make Perma Charge and uh, Quincy and the Super Monkey even stronger. I don't think this uh, Alchemist reaches the uh, Sniper, so I'm gonna actually sell it right now. Um, Alright, so let's just drop uh, uh, here, why not? Mortar, just to start breaking the ice. I'm gonna just increase the attack speed. So you're gonna see that the ice starts breaking here, and uh, um, and then when you break it, uh, you free the this uh, character, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's him. It's gonna spawn in a complete RNG position, so it's gonna spawn uh, like weirdly, and uh, I'm gonna actually uh, get a chain hook here, and I'm gonna try to move him in another spot because right now it's stunning the balloons when they are um, when they are not attacked by anything so I'm gonna just place him like right here in range of both villages hopefully so right there should be buffed uh, as you could see by all the icons by both villages by the permabrew so uh, it's just uh, stronger so let's sell this village uh, uh, this heli, sorry. And yeah, next is just our champion. So I'm gonna get it uh, as I get enough cash. And then, uh, actually, I think I'm gonna sell all the all the banks. Like next time I collect, I'm gonna just sell them all. I'm gonna get our champion. I'm gonna get uh, primary expertise. Um, and then I may move uh, the. Um, like the super monkey maybe down there when uh, now I have this uh, bank so that I can attack a little sooner All right, so that's the dark champion so let's see where I can move it uh, in range of villages though uh, yeah, I think here here could be a good spot okay, so let's just wait here to collect uh, for the very last time these banks Here we go, and yeah, let's just sell everything here. Pardon me, expertise. Uh, no, that was wrong. I can actually build him right here now because I have the uh, the village that is being buffed by the alchemist and it has more range, so I can actually like place it right there. Oh uh, yeah, let's just do it, just to destroy the balloons a little sooner. Why not? And 
um, Quincy is almost, uh, yeah, let's level him up level 20, why not? And actually I can get another, like, chin hook and maybe try to move uh, the Cape Monkey once again, maybe in another spot. Right now it's not any more important to have the towers in range of this Monkey City Village because uh, I don't really need the cash anymore, so I can, like, move everything under the range of just uh, the attack speed village. So yeah, let's just move it right there. Seems to be a little closer to the balloons. Um, and maybe I can move like Parma Charge. But actually, uh, there isn't uh, much room to move it. So maybe here is like slightly closer to the balloons. Let's see, let's try. Maybe it's a little closer like to towards the turn. But yeah, it's not really important. Like I have all the damage that I need to destroy these last rounds. So um, yeah, that was impopable. I'm going to use here uh, turbo charge. Actually, Parma Charge, I'm going to use Queen's Hero 3, and that should be this BD destroyed very easily. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see ya. Bye bye.